Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to display the number of search results in your search results template in the Divi Theme Builder. So let's take a look. So normally when you have your search results template in the Theme Builder, you would have something like this. You'd have you know, a uh, post archive title using dynamic content, all right? So you have a title and then a blog module. And the blog module would have this setting on post for current page. And so now when I go to a page that has a search module and I search for something, then I will go to that template like you can see here and it will say this results for and then whatever I typed in. And then here are the results shown in the blog module. But right here, I want there to be a number. I want it to be like, you know, you know, 25 results for Divi or something like that. I want it to say the amount because a lot of other searches do that. So here's the written tutorial. You can follow along. The link is in the description. So go ahead and come over to the blog post. That's where we'll have the snippet and everything that you need. Um, so I already told you what I'm doing. So here's the setup. So go to your theme builder, make sure that you have the search results page set up. And again, you would just go to Divi theme builder and then when you add the template, just make sure that it's selected right here at the very bottom search results. Okay. And then build your custom body. Like I showed you with um, the title and the blog. So that would be the, the setup, right? And we do have another tutorial on that that you can check out if you need to. Now, what we are going to do is be adding a short code instead of that text module. So instead of that heading, we're going to add our own dynamic text there so that we can get the proper, you know, the number of results. So we're adding the short code to the theme builder template first. So let's go ahead and do that. You can copy it right here. So I'll just go over here to Divi theme builder and open the body template for uh, the search results layout. I'll leave the blog module there, but up here in this text module, I'm going to remove the dynamic content and then I'll actually go here and paste the short code like that. So there you can see in the visual or the text tab, it's just the short code and it'll look like that for now. That's fine. So PA search results count and I'll show you later how you can customize what actually displays in the short code, but that's what you need for now. And now your template is good to go. You can save that. So the next step is to add the PHP code snippet. So the, the snippet is connecting to that short code on the front end. The short code is where it will be output, but now you need some code in the back end of your website to actually create the functionality. And so that's what we're doing here with the snippet. Now, um, if you have a child theme, you can put this snippet in your functions.php file, um, but I'm going to show you using the code snippets plugin. It's a really handy plugin called code snippets. Yeah, very simply named too. And it's, it's really great. So I'm going to be using that. Here is the snippet. So I'm going to copy that right here and go to the back end of my website. And again, after I've installed the code snippets plugin. So over here on the left hand side, it says snippets. And I'm going to come here and click on add new. And then I'll just paste in there from the tutorial Go down here to the blue button, save changes and activate it. Oh, I need to have a title. Yes, of course. I'll just say, um, search results count, something like that. Save changes and activate. Now let's go back and do another search. So here I am on a page with a search module, any page that you have with that. I'm going to do the same search again. Okay. Look at that 100 results for Divi. So we've added the number here to the beginning and then we still have, you know, what we had before. Now I'm going to show you a little bit that you can customize this a little bit. So back in that snippet. So let's look very carefully here. You can see that it says results for right here in the middle. And then, um, first of all, it's saying you can actually sort of read it. It says item total, right? So think of that as that number, the number, so that's first and then results for, and then um, after that is the actual search term. Okay, so it's the dynamic number and then text and then the search term. The only thing that you can edit here is this results for text right here. Okay, that's the, don't touch anything else. Like, but you can edit that. And so as an example, you may say something like, oh, here, you might say search results, you know, search results 
and I don't know, maybe you want to capitalize for, it doesn't matter. I'll just save that. So again, this is going to be the text between these two items, okay? I'm going to refresh the page. And there you can see, now it says 100 search results for Divi. So you can customize that a little bit. And of course, you can use the module, the text module, they're here to customize, you know, the, the font and the colors and all that, you know, the size of that and everything. Um, but that's it. That's that's how simple it is. So again, you know, the, the short code and then the snippet and you get your number like that. It's a nice little thing to do um, if you're using search on your website. All right. So that's it. This is uh, what we do every single week. So, you know, if you subscribe, this is what you'll get. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, you can leave any comments that you want to as well. Be sure to um, go over to the blog and follow along there. Again, every week we do a tutorial like this. So um, something practical and useful that you can always you know, use to add, add this extra stuff to your Divi websites. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.